Hello, my name is Mr. Spammel, and today, as you read in the title, we're talking about the top five forgotten items in Unturned. This is a very wonderful list. I forgot half these things existed, which is kind of why they were in this list. And I'm here with... That was so janky. And if you're not already subscribed, what are you messing at? Make sure to hit that sub- wait, hit that subscribe. Oh my, I missed the game. <laughs> Come here, man. Hit that subscribe. <laughs> hit that bell button and make sure to check out Pine Hosting down below. If you want to make your own epic unturned server, use my code Mr. Spammel to get 40% off. It's a wonderful deal. And let's go ahead and get started. So Mr. Spammel and I have combined our brain powers together and stolen some of Mr. Reddy's ideas. Uh to tell them that, Brad. We put out our massive brains together and we've come up with a list of the top five forgotten items. It's pretty hard because, I mean, they're forgotten, so... I forgot about them, Brad. We have got a list over here. Stay tuned to the end because some of them you might have forgotten about. <laughs> Coming in at number five, we have my life, right? No, I'm kidding. It is oh. the Caltrop. Don't you worry. I don't know what this thing is. It's kind of like a tank trap, but it's a little trap for people to stand on. Why is it a thing? Like, what is that? Seriously, I have no idea. I've never seen anything like that. Like, place it on the floor. Let's have a quick look at it. What it's a spike. So it's like, um, it's literally just like every other trap, but looks like a tank trap. Much. Like, what's so Enemy strange? Tank trap. It's based off of the um, police, like they use it in real life, I'm pretty sure. They throw it on the road. I think James Bond had it in the back of his car. Oh, they're literally just little spikes, that's it. There's nothing special about yeah. them. Very strange. Did not know this was in the game until I went searching for this video, and there we go, a caltrop. I think it's craftable, but no one really uses it. If you want to do a trap, people just do like the bear trap thingy my bobs, or just a landmine. There's a demonstration of Brad running at it right now. Incredible, Brad. Epic. That looks like it hurts. Coming in at number four, we have the makeshift vehicle. They used to be popular back in Hawaii days, but I don't think I've seen one of them since 1942. They're very slow. They take a lot of time to make and the only good thing is you can like build a base on it maybe so if you wanted to build like a pizza shop i'm sure mr spammel's made a role play video about that back in the day then you can but otherwise there's no armor on them they're really weak they're very slow it's pretty much just mr spammel's channel ah uh, thanks for that but the thing is you can build a base on any vehicle like fudgy's done tons of uh like mobile bases he's done one on like a dump truck and all sorts you know he's done a lot of things and you can build on any vehicle including helicopters so there is literally no reason to use a makeshift vehicle maybe Nelson could change it where you can only put plates on a makeshift vehicle to give them a reason to exist I don't know I think the whole point of the makeshift vehicle was for like once they run out of vehicles on the map but every time a vehicle blows up a new one spawns and on survival and roleplay servers the vehicles blow up like every two minutes anyway so there's always a new vehicle you can find if you just keep your eyes out yeah, there really is no reason for them to exist, and I forgot they were a thing, which is why it's on this wonderful list. Coming in at number three, we have the Explosive Arrow. I forgot this existed yet again. It was in the Serrani video, which kind of made me remember its existence. It's just an arrow with an explosive on the end. I know, big brain. Here's Brad dying to it again. <laughs> Very nice, that looks Brad. Like it <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anyone who uses these. You can use like arrows and crossbows, uh, like on hardcore survival. It's a pretty good way of silently taking out a lot of zombies, and you can reuse the same arrow quite Not a lot of times. When you got a bomb on the end of it. I mean, just kind of defeat the point. But if you spent a lot of your playthrough, you know, using arrows for some reason, I don't know who uses arrows. To be fair, yeah, who yeah. uses bows? No Maybe one uses bows. To be fair, I wonder if anyone's done a raid with it. That'll be on screen now if I can find one. Coming in at number two, we have a large slippery plate. The large slippery plate was added to the game in March 2019. Nelson added this item, but did not expect to see its ultimate demise. Okay, what My is that voice? No. And I'm no. a top 10 YouTuber. Okay, right. Could you chill out with that voice? I nearly fell asleep just listening to you. My top 10 voice, Mr. Spammel. Well, never do it again. Thank you. It's a plate with some soap on it. Yeah, I'm sure we've all done that before. You know, get a bit of the old washing up liquid, slide across your kitchen floor. Pro strats, that bro. That sounds like a wonderful childhood. <laughs> It's a pretty boring plate. Um, the only use I've ever seen is a gigantic fudgy slide and a couple of other YouTubers' videos. Otherwise, I think people have probably used it to make people slip into bombs and like traps, but I, I don't think anyone actually uses it. Yeah, I don't know who would fall for it as well. Like, literally, 
I think even if you try and go down it as fast as possible, you can just jump back up it, even though it's supposed to be a slippy plate. So who knows? We'll have to test that it's in a moment. Like, right? It's like a proper slide thing um, on the maps on the maps that have slides, so you can walk up it. It's yeah, just makes you like on ice almost. And turn doesn't have enough physics to really make something like this work. Like if we had ragdoll physics, you could see it being a lot more fun. And you know, like I could chuck you down there. You know, you just ragdoll in your way down. It'd be quite that funny. Sounds quite psychopathic. Coming in at number one, this one. Drum roll, please, Brad. Come on, get it going. <laughs> okay, that's a little, little too much. It's the rain barrel. It's completely pointless. Who uses one of these? Like, sure, you might remember they exist, but it's just a barrel. The the, the rain goes in. <laughs> you can make boats out of it as well, I think. But otherwise, no, that was Hawaii, right? Makeshift rafts. Wait, try spawning it in real quick. Let's have a look. No. Yeah, okay. So that was a Hawaii item. It's really useless. I think, yet again, the only time you could really use this is for hardcore survival. But even then, it's not hardcore enough to really justify it. There's always a water source. You can fill up your canteen quite often. You know, it's just rivers and stuff. Plus, people just either grow crops and then get hydration through the crops. Or literally, I mean, there's water in front of us about... 50 meters away so we'll just go scoop it up with a canteen over there um so it's very useless and forgotten well, that, i've probably used it for building things in the past but that really is it i mean it looks nice i guess it's decoration it's a it's a blue barrel okay you've just completely blocked us off thanks for that bro yep and now for some honorary mentions. First off, we have the honey badger. Big rip for the honey badger. There we go. It's the honey badger. Now, a lot of you will recognize that gun and say, that's not forgotten. I see that all the time. I just mean the name. All right, the new players now, well, they won't understand the honey badger life. It's all about the PDW, which absolutely sucks, by the way. Uh, very sad. You know, it was a sad your, day. Your KD drops by at least three three marks once again i think nelson got in trouble for the name honey badger which um how can you get in ruined. trouble for the name honey badger some military the military are quite stuffy with their name all, all these people are, are are quite like serious about copying yeah, names it's and a things, free so. to play game i don't know why they care who knows but we lost the honey badger one fateful evening i'm surprised ever the war didn't break day, out for that to be honest bro honestly ever since that day i actually genuinely don't use it i used to use it all the time and now i just say, don't <laughs> I used to spawn it in <laughs> really doing slash I honey, and, yeah. and now I just don't, I forget it's even called the PDW sometimes, I'm such a honey it's boy. Good. And to demonstrate our other honorary mention, you gotta use your voodoo magic and make it night real quick, Brad. Um, dum -dum -dum -dum. <laughs> my god. Now, it is the tracer rounds. Yet again, forgot these existed, Sarati did mention these in his video, but if you could please uh, fire for demonstration reasons, Brad. Not at my head. I, I can't see the round. Fire over that way. Basically, all it does is make the rounds in the air, like red. Very simple. Can we get it back today, please? There we go. Perfect. No one uses it. There is no need. If anything, it's probably a disadvantage to use it because you can see your own rounds anyway. It just makes you easier to spot. But anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you're not already subscribed, what you missed that? Click that wonderful subscribe button over there. Check out Pine Hosting if you haven't already. And feel free to click one of these two epic videos. You got a lovely video up there, a fantastic video down here, and I'll see you in the next video.